Hey, how's it going, YouTube? It's Tag97 again. I hope all of you are doing very good today. We're going over something that's been highly requested. We're going over my personal Gucci Glock 19, and I'm so excited to show you. And of course, if you're not aware, I have an Instagram. Just go down to the links below. Find a link that says Tag97 and hit that link. It goes directly to my IG. And hit that follow button because you get anything that's exclusively happening on my Instagram that you would not see on YouTube. I want to thank my viewers and subscribers. Subscribers, thank you so much for this week. A huge, huge amount of subscribers. I'm blown away by the love and support you guys do. Really, I, I can't thank you enough. And of course, my Patreon donors. There's been an update on the Patreon that I recommend you go check out. Because there's more, better options and better perks for you guys that donate. I also want to thank from Skip from Aaron Tactical Solutions, Taylor from Patriot Gunworks, and Mike from 19 Charlie Tactical. They all help contribute to building this Gucci Glock 19 of mine, and without their help and work, it would not have been completed. So thank you very much, guys. Highly appreciated. Okay, so let's get right into it. Now, I will say as a quick disclaimer that I will not go over every single thing that has been done to this farm. I did you the favor of putting that down in the description so you can literally see everything as a list and the people that helped build this farm. Now, this farm was built from scratch. It wasn't a Glock 19 originally and then custom made and cut. No, this is literally built from separate pieces from like 20 different companies online that we all put together into one farm. Custom finish on it as in the slide and the lower receiver have been customly seracoded by Skip thanks to him. And of course, the bronze that you all see here is a custom mix of four different Cerakote paints to make that shine. So with that being said, this should be the one-of-a-kind handgun. So let's get right into it. The overall length, including the muzzle brake on this, is going to leave you at 9.2 inches roughly. And that barrel length is going to be leaving you without the muzzle brake 4.85 inches. This is from CMC Barrels. It's a Texas company, and you know I love supporting the great state. The twist rate is 1 in 10, so very good for 9mm, and also the fact that these are match grade barrels, so you can shoot those in competitions. And what a really sexy cut design on it, and it definitely is reliable for sure. Alrighty, so let's go over the magazines I use, the ammo, and the type of grain, because this is a 1 in 10 twist with this firearm. So I just want to show you real quick, this is what the Glock, or the Gucci Glock 19, Looks like with that mag extender, so it's pretty big, but very beautiful and sexy at the same time. I'm going to put this down because there's no need to talk about this at the moment. So let's talk about the magazines I use. So I go with the Elite Tactical Systems or ETS mags clear, so I'm able to see very easily how many rounds I have left or what kind of ammo type I'm carrying. Now this is my Conceal Carry or Open Carry magazine. I'm carrying hollow points. Six hour, by the way, 124 grain. And as you see for the base plate, I have the Terran Tactical base plate, which gave me an extra five rounds. So 20 rounds in this magazine. That's pretty impressive. So let's talk about the ammo and the grain. So I use Remington and SIG, like I just mentioned. So here is the 115 grain Remington round. As you see, most standard, good for training and practicing. And obviously what I can still carry is the six hour 124 grain and the best grain to use with almost 9 millimeters is going to be between 115 and all the way to 147 grain which is best recommended by me. Okay so let's talk about the Cerakote work that was done to this firearm. So Amor Tactical Solutions, my business partner Skip, did a beautiful job with the bronze finish and that black matte finish on it for sure. Both are custom paints that he mixed together to make his own, especially for me. And he even has the bottle of the bronze that you see on here that literally says Tag 97's gun coat. So that's really awesome he did that for me. It's just overall what a beautiful finish. And when Skip was putting this together for me, he grinded some of the slide down. He just kept working and working and working until everything came into one unit. And now it's like butter smooth for sure. Just really, really nice and just very well done for sure. And his work speaks for himself. His link for Instagram is down below as well if you want to check out more of his artwork. Okay, so let's talk about Mike. So Mike is from 19 Charlie Tactical. He's a certified gunsmith to help me in the situation with my holster. So Mike was able to help with the P80 lower 
and the slide to push them together just a little bit because P80 lowers have issues sometimes with certain slides, whereas just a slight gap in it, and he was able to fix that for sure. He also was able to help me with my Kydex holsters. Even though I didn't know at the time he makes custom Kydex holsters for any firearm, I got mine from Red River Tactical, and I told him exactly what I wanted for this firearm as in fitting. When I got the holster, it sucked and it did not fit at all. So Mike was able to jump in like, I got you, man. And he was able to help me in that situation. That's really cool he did that. So overall, he's a good gunsmith and a really good guy overall. So last but not least, Taylor's gun frame work for sure. Outstanding and definitely a big eye catcher with most people when looking at my firearm. So his Instagram is Patriot Gunworks and he does the framework of most firearms as you can see he went all the way around the grip fully custom he does it by hand not laser engraving crap where it's cheesily made and i seen some even high-end glocks that i'm not going to mention in their names because people get butthurt about it but i seen how they don't take their time or effort and definitely taylor did an outstanding job that blew me away with that grip and i can show you a picture of him doing that as well he takes his time grinding it down all by hand everything you see is done by hand by him he has many different styles and for sure it is definitely worth your money it's not cheap but if you buy cheap you buy twice i'll put it that way highly recommended and a good guy overall as well okay so let's talk about the sites that i run on this gucci glock so i love trojan and i always love buying high-end optics i never believe in buying something cheap that's just personally me though so I run two Trigicon sights in the front. They're both nighttime suppressed, so they're able to see with MVG capabilities or just your naked eye. It doesn't need to recharge because it has that tritium in there. So also with this RMR, as you see on here, this is a real Trigicon RMR, dual illuminated, 7.0 MOA amber dots. Now, if you're wondering why I want the dual illuminated, I have a whole video dedicated just for the RMR that you can watch if you want to. If not, I don't care it is totally up to you but i go in full detail with this for about a half an hour so that's up to you if you want to watch that so now you're probably asking yourself about the trigger that i always love talking about in every single video so this is a custom trigger it's not a stock trigger because most stock glock triggers are like five something this one is exactly 3.0 pound trigger pull this is made by oc triggers feel the perfection and they have about eight different slots that you can pick from from every customization for a trigger that you can possibly imagine i think i spent a hundred and thirty dollars i think after shipping for this trigger set it came with everything i needed for it so it's not like i just got the trigger itself but they did custom make it and they shaved down that safety so it's very very light and somewhat dangerous for certain people that are not used to a light trigger so as you can see i'm barely putting any pressure and it just went off very light and highly recommended by me for sure. One of the best triggers I've ever used for my personal firearm. Okay, so normally this is the part where I talk about everyone's least favorite subject, but today it's gonna be my least favorite subject and my wife's too. So the MSRP of this firearm, with all the aftermarket pieces or just the whole firearm itself because it's built from scratch, it is all the labor work and everything that went into building this exact farm so with sales tax and shipping the overall price of this was slightly to almost three thousand dollars so for three thousand dollars i was able to build my custom gucci glock and to me i believe it was 100 percent worth it but it just took forever to get there and it was definitely worth every penny for sure if you're going to build your own Gucci Glock, don't go cheap. You might as well put the money into it because as you can see, the finished product is overwhelmingly amazing in my opinion. So let's talk about the things I personally love and do not like about this firearm. Even though it is my firearm, there's always negativity in every single firearm. That's why I'm an honest reviewer when it comes to firearms. So enough with the specifications. It's time to how I personally feel about it. So let's get into negativity first because I don't like talking about negativity. Number one, the cost of the whole build. It's extremely expensive for certain people to even think about spending $3,000 on a firearm. Not that I'm trying to boast or have clout on it or anything like that. I'm not doing that. I'm putting no one down, I promise. 
It's just I have a really bad addiction to firearms and gear. I really spend a lot. So don't go broke either and put yourself in debt. Not cool. So it took a long time building this, a lot of money, and just a lot of effort and a lot of hair pulling because there's certain pieces that did not work with this firearm without special grinding down, without certain things that wouldn't fit with it, certain magazines that wouldn't feed, and it just kept getting more annoying. Pieces were breaking if I didn't take care of them. It was a lot of working because it was built from scratch. It wasn't a firearm when it came off the assembly line. It was literally gun pieces put into one firearm which built into what it is so it wasn't a gun that was already made already i had to build this from scratch so there's a lot of trial and error anytime you build a firearm let's just say for an 80 percent lower of an ar it takes a lot of tweaking sometimes to get it just right to where you need it or if you're putting a upper together that is never been touched with any other part and you're trying to make it work together regardless of what firearm it is rifle pistol whatever it is if you're building a firearm from scratch it's always going to be pain in the butt to put everything together to make it run and work perfectly it takes time to build it so there's no rushing into it you need to take your time while building a firearm something like this but the overall product is definitely worth your money okay so now that i'm done with the negative part of this firearm or what i personally feel about it let's talk about the things i actually love about it the whole gun that's it <laughs> i really love this gun i mean i should right i built it i put every single piece in this firearm together with the help of my business partners i should love this firearm and i 100 percent do for sure even though there's always negative in every single firearm, I really do love it. So, it's a little heavy, I'm not going to lie, it is. But it's definitely balanced for sure. Once you got that magazine in there, it will definitely balance out and it works just fine. Optic is crystal clear with it. Everything perfectly lines up. Barely any recoil for sure. That muzzle brake definitely defeats any recoil that it would have you know nine mil is not even that bad at all i'm just saying it barely puts anything on it it just looks so sexy it's a very talkative piece and for sure it is amazing firearm to shoot overall and it gets people talking a lot of people that see this gun they're like whoa that's insane and they really love seeing it for sure it, it's just overall perfect fit for my hand everything is custom on this firearm for sure and it just works overall for me and that's the reason behind it. It is custom. It is a Gucci Glock. It better be perfect for the money you pay for it. All right. So since I'm done talking about what I feel about it, let's get into everyone's favorite part, the shooting compilation. So if you made it this far and you did skip, I always recommend you go back to learn specifications or support the people that help build this firearm with me. If not, that's fine. Just make sure you like the video and, of course, subscribe because it's always highly appreciated. I really, really love seeing you guys subscribe because I always get a notification, pop up my phone saying new subscriber, and it's always highly appreciated. Trust me, it really is. I love you guys. I just can't believe how many subscribers I've gotten in such a short time. You guys are really awesome, and thank you so much. All right, so enough of that. I know you guys are probably like, can you just shut up? So, without further ado, let's get into that shooting compilation. I hope you really enjoy it, really.
So as you see, every penny that I put into this farm was definitely worth it. What an awesome gun and really highly recommended. But honestly, you have to build with your own because I can't say that a manufacturer made it. So there's no actual name for it besides the Gucci Glock 19 made by Tag 97. So it's one of a kind, a beautiful firearm. And I'm going to show you the accuracy real quick. I'm going to show you the target that I shot. So I shot at the 7 yard mark and the 25 yard mark. And I circled each one with the color that matches it. So to give you an idea on how the grouping is. Now I will say that with the RMR, it kind of flushed out the target a little bit because it was extremely bright and I can adjust the brightness. But I was able to put some black tape on it to cover the brightness so I was able to see what I was doing with it. Just so it can dim it down just a little bit. Get a little bit more smaller circle. Other than that, what an awesome gun, seriously. If you did enjoy this video, I always ask that you guys like and of course subscribe because it's always appreciated. I got nothing more for you guys and thank you so much for supporting me and making my dream come true of being a YouTuber. I love you all. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you next time, okay? You take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.